In the magnificent Warza Zet Basin in Morocco lies a massive concentrated solar power plant, CSP for short, that boasts more than half a million large mirrors. It is so massive, it can even be seen from space. It is quite surprising that the rather poor state of Morocco built this massive and quite intriguing solar power plant because one would expect such a facility to exist in a developed rich country such as the USA or Australia where one can easily find large deserts that are just as hot and sunny as that of Morocco's but also much larger in size. Nevertheless, this Arab country which unlike other Arab countries does not have any substantial oil and gas reserves took the massive decision to move away from reliance on fossil fuels for electricity generation and into renewables despite the immense cost. The project is so massive and mesmerizing, it even attracts tourists from around the world which is something that the Moroccan government did not expect. So without further ado, let's go on a journey to the Warza Zet Mega Solar Power Plants Complex, which is nothing short of a modern world wonder. It was natural to pick the Warza Zet Basin as a location for the Mega Solar Thermal Power Plan. The area is dry, sunny, and hot year-round, and for centuries, Caravan traders used villages in the area as a stopover on journeys between North Africa and Europe. The area is also famous because since the entertainment industry discovered the small sedimentary basin flanking the High Atlas and Anti-Atlas Mountains, it became a center of movie and television production. Warsa Zet is a very beautiful city in south-central Morocco, an important holiday destination, and has been nicknamed the Door of the Desert. Films such as Lawrence of Arabia, The Mummy, Gladiator, Kingdom of Heaven, and part of the television series Game of Thrones were shot there. The massive solar plant is located about 6.2 miles from the city of Warzazet in Gesat Rural Council area, and the locals call it the Noor Power Plant. We are betting that this fame played a role in picking the location for the mega solar power plant. After all, climate change and pollution are serious global issues that affect all of us and have become an integral part of the film and TV industry. When engineers from around the world began drawing their plans, they divided the solar complex, which is about the size of 3,500 football fields or 11.6 square miles into four distinct stages called NOR 1, NOR 2, NOR 3, and NOR 4. By the way, the word NOR means light in Arabic, which is quite suitable for the project. The four stages actually represent four distinct separate solar power plants that use various technologies. Power plants NOR 1 and 2 use cylindrical parabolic mirrors, NOR 3 uses a concentrated solar power tower, and NOR 4 is a hybrid photovoltaic plant. To date, the NOR plant is the world's largest concentrated solar power plant and produces around 582 megawatts, which is enough to power more than a million homes. The Moroccan government initially struggled in coming up with the necessary funds for the project, which cost nearly $4 billion. However, after a great deal of lobbying and endless negotiations with international partners, it was able to borrow the money at a discounted interest rate from various sources, such as the Clean Technology Fund, the African Development Bank, the World Bank, and the European Investment Bank. The project was developed by the Saudi firm ACWA Power, with the help of the Spanish consortium TSK Aciona Senior in coordination with the Moroccan Agency for Solar Energy Mason. Companies that provided the equipment and parts, including thousands of 40-foot-long mirrors and cement in the tens of thousands of tons, literally had to cross the 7,400-foot-high Tizi and Tichka mountain pass to come down on the other side of the Atlas Mountains. Nevertheless, the project did not run into any issues, was completed on time, and the design was improved during the construction process, especially in the areas of water consumption and cooling systems. The technology used in NOR 1 to 3 is called Concentrated Solar Power, or CSP for short. These plants are thermal electricity plants and generate power by creating steam to turn turbines, just as coal and nuclear power plants do. But unlike other dirty technologies, CSP plants use energy from the sun as their fuel source instead of coal or gas. The various types of mirrors reflect the sun and concentrate it in one place, such as absorber tubes in parabolic trough technology, like that used in NOR 1, or central receivers in tower technology like that in NOR 2 and 3. The process is simple. The sun's energy heats the water and converts it into steam, which turns turbines that generate electricity. The steam is then cooled down to condense and go back to a liquid water state 
so that it is reused in what is called the steam cycle. The first stage of the mega complex NOR-1 was inaugurated in December 2015 and connected to the Moroccan power grid on the 5th of February 2016. It added 160 megawatts to the grid and the positive effects were immediately felt. NOR-1 is made up of 7,000 massive parabolic mirrors that focus sunlight to heat tubes filled with thermal oil that run the length of the mirrors. The boiling oil is then used to boil water that generates steam that turns a turbine to generate electricity. This makes one wonder why not all the deserts of the world are filled with such amazing and clean power plants, and is it because they are useless at night? This is a very good question, and the answer to the first part of it is, many countries are already building similar facilities, and the answer to the second part is, no, because in reality, these plants can generate power even at night and never stop. The thermal oil inside the tubes or tower is also used to heat molten salts in storage tanks that keep the salt hot enough to generate steam well after sunset. Additionally, hot steam is stored in pressurized tanks on the ground and released when the sun is not shining. This is why this mega plant generates electricity 24-7. The second stage, NOR-2, was completed in January 2018. It is similar to the power plant NOR-1 but uses dry cooling, which was deemed important by engineers in order to significantly reduce the amount of water used during operations. NOR-2 is a 200-megawatt concentrated solar power plant that uses parabolic troughs. It also has a 7-hour storage capacity. It is quite massive, too, covering an area of about 680 hectares. As for the third stage NOR-3, it too was completed in 2018. It includes 7,400 sun tracking mirrors called heliostats that are arrayed in a circular pattern around an 820 foot tall power tower that heat a molten salt fluid. The NOR 3 plant has a very different design. The massive mirrors are mounted horizontally on platforms that are supported by 32 foot columns. Each platform is similar to a tennis court and has a reflective surface of about 585 square feet. It features mind-numbing 7,400 panels that follow the sunlight, reflecting it to the 820-foot tall solar tower. Just like NOR 2, it uses a dry cooling system to decrease water use. Stage 4, that is NOR 4, was completed in late 2018 too, but it is quite different from the other three NOR plants because it runs on photovoltaic panels, which in a nutshell are similar to the solar panels people place on their roofs, but much larger, more durable, and produce way more electricity. This means that NOR 4 is not a concentrated solar power plant, but rather a photovoltaic system plant. The panels absorb the sunlight and convert it into electricity. Within this system, a solar inverter converts the output from direct to alternating current. It is a very effective and sufficient system that is also extremely environmentally friendly and requires no water for operations. The economic and environmental impact of the Mega Noor Power Plants Complex is quite positive, even though it is in the desert and requires a lot of water for cooling and cleaning the mirrors. Many experts often advocated that concentrated solar power on a massive scale in deserts is not feasible due to water scarcity. However, the Moroccan project proved that the same water can be reused again and again in CSP plants with a water-based cooling system. Additionally, the development of dry cooling systems has solved the water issue altogether. No one expected a poor country to achieve such a great milestone that has not been achieved even by rich nations. Today, the plant provides more than a million homes with power and cuts CO2 emissions by a million tons per year. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe as we will continue to take you on positive journeys about some of the most fascinating.